Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skeller. And I'm Jeff Kanata. You need some science and tech headlines? We got you. We do. Gather your drone forces, everybody, because one university is going to teach you how to control an army of drones with your mind. We've talked about Arizona State University's brain-powered drone work, but now they have taken it to the next level. This system uses an EEG cap that picks up which parts of the brain activate during certain thoughts and then translates those into commands for robots. Before, they were using just one drone for control, but now the system can control up to four drones at once, which would allow four pilots to fly up to 16 drones all at the same time using only their mind. ASU hopes to keep working on their research and also aims to have multiple people controlling multiple robots simultaneously. So we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully we'll have more to show you soon. Actually, there's only one application for this technology and that is drone armies. Advanced drone swarm. That warfare. is the only, what other reason do four people need to control 16 drones for, Ashley? I think you mean 16,000 drones. Oh, why are we doing this? <laughs> Seems awesome. Uh, you know what else? Uh, I can think of one other use. Beautiful <laughs> drone choreography in the sky using yeah, your brain. Of death. Anyway, at least somebody is getting my letters because now there's a cowboy robot. Swagbot is part of a farm robot trial headed up by the University of Sydney, and he's officially out in the pastures. The robot has a variety of jobs, including herding cattle, and the idea here is to use robots in places where traditional humans on horseback would be too dangerous or remote. Swagbot is only helping herd cattle and sheep right now, but soon the team in Sydney will install motion, temperature, color, and shape sensors to allow Swagbot to identify if any of its herd is sick or injured. Then it can alert farmers and ranchers of the health of their animals, offering a high-tech solution to an age-old profession. He's the, like he's the sheepdog, but he's a robot. Get along, little robot. So what we're gonna end up having is robot cowboys versus drone army for the fate of humanity. And I'm putting my money on robot cowboy. You know what? They can eat the can once you're done eating the, the can of beans by the campfire. <laughs> they can eat the can. It's really it handy. It works out. I'm it's having like my can of beans. Can, and then you just feed the can, can of to the oil. robot. It's done. It's great. <laughs> I wonder if it can sing songs around the campfire. That uh, would be really nice. I would like that. To be able to sing, some, sing me some songs. Uh, which one do you, I think we got to talk about, I mean, they're both really good These stories. These are excellent ones. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk I mean, I, I mean, think you're really excited about Swagbot. I love him. Let's I want let's one. talk about unorthodox robots on I like Thursday. That. Unorthodox robots. Or um, unorthodox cowboys. <laughs> or unorthodox cowboy cowboy cowbots. Cowbots. Cowbot. There you go. Uh, you guys, uh, cool. you guys can use the hashtag #HeyTD to talk to us about robot cowboys and whether or not uh, what other jobs you want to see robots performing yeah. that are weird. Um, and if we like your tweets, we will use them on the show. Yeah, we appreciate that. But now let's check in with our photographer of the day. Today's phone photographer of the day is Hazar, who took this picture with a Galaxy S5. Hazar writes, this is my dog Nike, passed away not too long ago. Oh. Uh, he was my favorite person, and by person I mean just look at him. He made everyone love him and laugh with him in minutes after meeting him. As you can tell from the picture, he had such a dude personality, and I saw myself in him all the time. No matter what kind of day it was, he was always there to make it better. By the way, he also watched your show just oh. like me. He was a loyal fan and forever friend, and most consistently, a blanket hog. <laughs> Oh, this oh, is Nike. so sweet. And you know what? This is a very nice tribute to what was obviously a wonderful best friend. Yeah. And I'm so glad you sent him this picture of Hazar because Nike is adorable. And we're so sorry that he's not around anymore. But uh, but you know what? Now we got to meet him a little bit. And I'm really excited about that. So yeah. thank you for sending in your pet photography. Um, we only have one more week left. Yeah, but this has been so great. Our theme is the pets. So if you want to be pets. a photographer and have your pet featured on the show, even if it's an unconventional pet, you can send it to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yes, and you must follow four very important rules. One, you must tell us how to pronounce your name if there's even a remote chance of us mispronouncing it. Hazar did a great job there. Hazar crushed it. <laughs> tell us a story about your pet mm -hmm. because we love stories and also we love your pets. We do. Uh, make sure you give us permission to use your picture on the show in your email because that is very important. 
um, our legal department says. And also, make sure you tell us what device you took it on because I find that terribly fascinating. Did you see yesterday know. we had one from a blueberry passport? A, bl a, a blackberry, blackberry passport. Blueberry? Blueberry passport, you say? What is this? I have never heard of such a phone. Blueberry, uh, I said. Blueberry passport, you guys. Oh. Hashtag blueberry. You can, I'm an idiot. Uh, that is it for today's show. Please, by all means, go and, te and tweet at Jeff. Uh, blueberry passport. So it's just any picture you can find that was taken with a blueberry passport. I want to see it. Uh, that is it for the show. Turns out it's my last day on the show, everybody. <laughs> also, you're fired. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, Blackberry just called your fire. <laughs> um, so that is it for the show. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact meeting science fiction. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye.